Hey everyone, this is Parlate22, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Return of the Dark Sorcerer. In the last episode, we got through the Imperial Base Camp with Ronin, Oboro, and our new ally, Avalon, as he just had his whole castle wiped out, and we kind of met up with him. And now we're trying to get home back to Frost to meet up with our, with our friends. But we have to get through this forest first, so with that, let's continue, shall we? Yes, I loaded up state from just right, right where I was. So let's go, I believe it is south? No, I was mistaken. I, I, I just test around this ten minutes ago, and I already screw up. So yeah, what I'm going to do here is basically... Get used to the combination of shuriken, heal a gun, and either attack or have a blade. Because that's your best combo for getting rid of these guys. There we go. Quick and easy. And for now, I'm actually going to put these guys in the front row. Because there are going to be a lot of fights in this area, and your supply of shurikens will go down rather quickly. And Ronin, his attack is a little more useful here in this area, I find, so let's keep going right now, and then up. So, yep, ooh. There's that kid we saw a couple episodes ago, Ark, I believe his name was. So he's going toward the train. That's not good. Yes, what is he doing on here? Yes, it's gotta be Ark. Onion Knight? And you see Oboro kinda turning his head there, but says nothing. Yes, let's go after him. Oh. Corner attack, side attack. Let's just attack regularly. Save our shurikens for later. Pass forward a little bit. There we go. Quick and easy. What the? Stop right there. Yeah, who are you? You cannot pass here. <laughs> if you pass this point, you will die. Yeah, then how do you get through? Carries a relic that protects him from evil. If you are with me, you'll be protected as well. Yeah, who are you? I am an agent of death. Call me Reaper. Yeah, new to this game is a whole totally new character. Reaper! And he's kind of a combination, I guess, of characters. I'll go over that shortly. Oh, your soul! can't be serious. Not gonna kill ya. Ah, so basically, yeah, whenever your life runs out, we will take it to hell. Perfect! Yeah, why should we trust ya? Basically, it's a win-win for him. Hmm. Quite a stock. Yeah, so what will it be? I haven't done this before. Let's go no. 
Suit yourselves. So he goes away. And we have to leave the forest. So basically, yeah, you have to say yes. Smart choice. Huh, me? You aren't exactly human, are you? Well, I figured that much because he was pretty darn strong being up all the soldiers there. You're the offspring of hybrid beings, half human, part esper, and part dragon. Kaiju! Now, how is he three parts? Because there's only two. I don't get it. I guess it goes back to narrations. <laughs> how can this be? Felt out of place, right? Yes. <laughs> I have a condition. Spare his kingdom. Hmm. Wow, what a nice guy. So, with all that out of the way, he joins us. And we're on to the train. And here he is, Soul Taker. Here is his status. He's got pretty decent stats, actually. And he has two abilities with him. Force and Spirit. Force is like a multi-target attack. It does a pretty good decent damage. I'm not sure what kind of elemental. Probably uh, Dark or whatever. Or Holy or whatever that is. Spirit is basically the replacement for Rage in this game. And in this game, I believe all I gotta do is fight the enemy normally. And that's any characters at this point and all the enemies will disappear in your list. So it's a lot easier to gain the enemies here. But if I recall correctly as well, the list actually is not as big, so I guess not as many enemies can appear in the list. But anyway, it's still pretty cool how it works like that. It saves you from grinding all the enemies. Well, you, just ca you can encounter them normally, as they have purposely looking for them in the, in the vault or whatever it's called now. So yeah, I haven't tried all these abilities out. Some are kind of self-explanatory, like the guard, I believe, is from the original Narsh or Frost area. Tank mecha, obviously the mechas we fought before. So yeah, I'm gonna put, let's see, him. I usually organize everything by HP, so yeah, let's put him in the third position there. So we go up. This is the Phantom Train. Carries the party to the Fire Plane. Yeah, we gotta find that kid. So all you do is walk to the left and you automatically trigger the next part as soon as you walk by the door. Maybe there is a more discreet entrance. We can't dislocate her around here. Come on. So we're on the train now. Uh oh. We're stuck. <laughs> Where is that horrible music coming from? I have never heard such an enchanting melody. It's moving! Try the door. It's fused shut, but how? No getting off this train we're on. Zombies? Uh 
Uh oh. That ain't good. I wanna go there. Death is a black chocobo that lies down at every door. Sooner or later, we must all ride the chocobo. <laughs> but I'm much too young to ride the chocobo. We have to stop this thing. Yeah, so now we're on the phantom train with totally new music. Concept is still kind of the same. But a lot of these guys, the dialogue has changed with these ghosts, or a couple of them anyway. Yes, we're not dead. Weird. And here we got a zombie. I meant it's trained. What you want. Yeah, tell us about the train. The train brings dead to Far Plane. There they take eternal rest. How do we stop it? Want to stop train? Use controls in engineer's compartment. Shut off first and third pressure valves. An operating switch outside, near smokestack. So basically the same thing as original. And yes, the shelter is very handy, but we're, we're all good right now. Check it out, a switch. Best not to touch that. <laughs> Oops. Hey, are you trying to get us killed? <laughs> Afraid? Me? No. Yeah, they're just asking for it. Yep, yeah, so Avalon kind of retains Cyan's fear of technology. Yes, let us save. And let's continue on this train, get off this darn train. Which could prove challenging at the end, and you'll see why probably in the next video. Or two, it depends on how far I get. Yeah, you'll see. And we encounter zombies! Yeah, you can just attack. Still doesn't kill him with attack from the front row. Yeah, let's use force. I'm not sure what that is. guys have pretty decent HP. Does it hit him? Yes it does! Over a thousand damage! Thank you! Wow, I'm surprised I didn't... only 300. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the force does. There we go! And that's pretty much the strategy for most of these fights in this area. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is put on the commands. And this attack with these other guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Reaper, his main attack is similar to Cloud's original weapon. So I'll show you what he has on here. Because he can't go into the main equipment him. He has a Soul Harvest, a Zephyr Hood, Arcane Rope, and a Lich Ring. Soul Harvest, I'm not sure, I think it's a ranged weapon, but, man, whatever. But, its effect is just like the Buster Sword, it has a random chance of chopping enemies in two, and some kill. So it's kinda handy. And yes, yeah, preemptive, that's good. Wow, even with that, you only hit one. Oh, not bad. Perfect. Look out. I like the preemptors they're getting. There we go. Once I put the first command, I'm not gonna keep you from shurikens every single time. Howdy, folks! I have some great value price merchandise. I really can't do a Texas accent. So yeah, I can get a whole bunch of stuff here. First off, max out your shurikens right away. Get a couple more pizzas. Oh, just three of them. So I'm pretty, doing pretty decent there. Aqua lens, you're going to need a little bit of these because you will get poison in this area. So let's get... That's good. 
Red apples, let's get a couple of these too. Because you will get turned into piggies as well. We charge, we don't really need our magic too well at this point, or too much at this point. Uh, Snuggies, two is good. You'll find more, I think we'll find one or two later. And we already got the shelter from, from the chest earlier too. Get as many karma jolts as you can afford here as well. Which is not that many, unfortunately. Because I think a lot of these guys actually can turn you into zombies. Which is quite annoying. Anyway, my relics like, I forget. Griffin Ice, Bee Boots, Bushido, Dwarf. Oh, I forgot to show what Aura has. Ninja Sight is what? Increases percentage of preemptive attacks, evades back, and pincer attack. Which is actually quite help quite nice for that, in fact. So let's see, what should I put on the borrow as a second one? Give him auto protect. This could be quite handy. White cape, nullifies pig, silence, and berserk. Because I hate pig, and that can we can turn you into pig here. Or let's see, nullifies poison, or blind poison petrify. Let's see. I think the white cape wins out. Yeah, everyone else is good. It's nice to have so many new faces around. It gets boring here sometimes. No doubt. And there's their shop right here in the next area. Ooh, Ghost and Wraith. Let's get them. Attacker Avalon. Got the race. Hey, that's not that much damage. There we go. See, I told you I got, I got a snack here from the battle there. Don't bother talking about that gold one just in their shop, so. I just was at a shop, so whatever. I suppose if you're patient, you can use this as a grinding place, and since there's a shop right there. You see? That white cape paid off. Yeah, I can attack a Ronin or a Boro, because they're immune to it. Let's fast forward. Oh, Avalon's a piggy. These guys have some decent HP. At least that's a piggy can still attack. I think you retain your attack power too. I see it's a new, a new uh, icon or a new uh, avatar for a piggy. I don't think this game even had piggy in the first game. Yeah, like Imp. I think it replaces Imp. So we get Cure Piggy with the Red Apple. And Ronin or Avalon does not actually have the Piggy spell. He only has a few select spells which aren't quite useful in all areas. More Shades or more Ghost characters. Enemies. And let's fast forward. Yeah, the Reaper in this one is definitely one you want to keep alive, because he can be quite handy. Yeah, can we just fast forward this now? Oh, I, I, maybe I shouldn't. Never mind. Mm, they're upset and insulted. Mm. Yeah, because I missed that where Rona got, or Avalon got turned into a zombie. Maybe I shouldn't fast forward through all the battles, but that can take a long time. Or I could edit everything out, but then I might have to change how to do my commentary. Because right now everything just live as I play. I would have to figure out how to do the post commentary, which I suppose I could do, but I'd have trouble kind of keeping it like what tense, like present tense or past tense. 
That's annoying. Nice girl on the Ronin. That was easy. Look out. I'm trying to sound like an orc from Warcraft. That was easy. Enough. Nah. Wow, three more poisoned. Bad luck there. Now I'm trying to keep as many pizzas as I can. Almost to the end of this train. before I talk to that ghost in the corner. There is no escape. Soon you'll all be like us. Hmm. And that was a trigger. Because you're supposed to talk to that ghost, and then you see it goes there. Ooh, I like that. Die! Yay, unpicking me. I'll take that. What was that all about? Huh? Instead of, instead of saying no escape, all they say is die. Which is more creepy. We're being surrounded by ghosts. We're trapped. You can't escape. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. So, just like before, climb the top of the train. Or the... Of the carriage there. Persistent. So we go in the corner. I refuse to let it end like this. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Just cling tenaciously to my biceps and I'll handle the rest. What? Don't ask. Just do. <laughs> Here we go! Ooh! Ow! But we made it! And we go one step forward. And they're... Aw, oh, crap! They're chasing us! We have to attach the rear cars. Quick and easy. Hit the switch. That should slow them down for a while. What another soul taker is doing here? Hmm. That's Mr. Grimm, my nemesis. We've been fighting over souls for aeons. Seems he's working for the Phantom Train now, reaping any rebellious souls that come aboard. This includes you guys. <laughs> You'll be fine for now. So let's keep going and oh, break enemies. I like these printer attacks. Yes! I was waiting for that combo. I, this is the thing the one I want. Skills, combo. Heck yeah! Finally! Fire engulfs all enemies. It's a little bit of a different combination than it was in their Super Nintendo, but the effect is the same. You gotta start, obviously, from the right, work your way counterclockwise to the bottom. And, yeah, it's basically the fire attack on all enemies. Which is gonna be freaking awesome! So, let's go here. Open the door. Let's save. 
and I'm going to attack this guy. He looks at me. There, he has to me now. Look out! Can I do it this time now? Let's try it, shall we? Got it. Rising Phoenix. This is going to be my, no my new go-to blitz, or combo. Pretty effective damage. Oh, he put Doom on, hi on him. Too bad we're killing the next attack or two. There we go. That was easy. Anyway, I think this actually is a good place to call it. So, the next episode, we'll continue to make our way through the Phantom Train and see if we can get to the end of it. This is Pilot22 saying thanks for watching. You guys have a good night, and see you guys again shortly. Bye.